welcome to the 2021 Motor Transport Awards here at the majestic Grosvenor House Hotel in Park Lane in London. 1,000 of the industry's finest are arriving for what promises to be the most exciting event in the road transport calendar this year. Tonight's finalists are hoping to take away one of the 20 awards which will mark their impact in the sector. Excitement levels and booze orders are running high <laughs> as we prepare to recognise the very best in the road transport industry. With the Chief Executive Richard Burnett. Now, what a night this is going to be. I bet you're absolutely delighted to be back after all this time away. We are so excited about being back. You know, it's been what, two years? You know, since since the last awards, it's been one hell of a year for all of us. Uh, you know, but, but, you know, it's great to be here celebrating this amazing industry that has kept the nation going right the way through COVID and through Brexit, you know, so, so amazing to be here. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and on behalf of everyone in that transport, it gives me great pleasure to welcome you to a very real 2021 Motor Transport Awards. This year's awards were hosted by the fantastic Alexander Armstrong, who had the audience in stitches ahead of the awards presentation. Steve Hobson, give that man a peerage. As you know, don't, don't. The House of Lords want to see more peers about as much as Susanna Reid does right now. And guests were treated to magnificent performances of classic Queen hits by the choir and the band. After the awards, the guests continued to celebrate, raising money for Transaid in the casino. And what a night that was. That's it for the Motor Transport Awards in 2021. Congratulations to all of our winners and to our nominees, and huge thanks to all of our sponsors. We'll be back next year, so don't forget this date, Wednesday, September the 7th, 2022. Put it in your diaries now. We'll see you then.